Hi, old guy here. Today we're talking about watches. Now, a lot of people are carrying smart watches these days and they give you a lot of information. I basically do mine for, you know, how many steps I get for, you know, exercise and health reasons. In the old days, I had two different watches. I had a decent watch. This one happens to be, oh, well, the decent watch. This one happens to be a Citizen, nothing extraordinary. And this is a Timex. And the reason I had two watches is I was in construction. And when you're in construction, you're basically beating up your arms and everything all the time. So I would damage a few watches back in my early days in construction. So later on, I got smart. And I went out and I bought a Timex. The ad used to be, takes a beating, keeps, keeps on ticking. So I would wear it at work and it didn't matter. The watch was like 20 bucks or even less. And it, all it did was, you know, we told time. That's what we told in the old days, time. The other stuff we didn't care about. But now your smartwatch gives you a lot of information. But, and like your phone, it has a crystal front. This can get damaged. It doesn't take much to scratch it, doesn't take much to break it. Now, what I figured out the other day when I was doing some wrenching, and I'm talking about, I'm, you know, I was in construction, I've been wrenching all my life. You do stuff around the house, not just narrowly cleaning, but let's say you're painting or whatever, uh, you're cutting wood, anything can damage this watch. So I've come up with a couple options you can use to protect your watch while you're, you know, like I said, construction, wrenching, whatever. All right, so we're gonna go to the bench. So these are some of the options I've come up with for protecting your sports watch. The cheapest one here, if you've got old socks laying around, this was a worn out, you know, athletic sock. This was a worn out black athletic sock. So it's basically just protecting. So you can put this on, now this one's you know, granted socks aren't real thick, but it'll do the job. It'll protect your watch. And if you don't feel like that's enough, just double it up. Okay, and that'll, you know, that'll take a bump pretty decently. And if you don't like white, you can lose black. Now, this one here wasn't as old, so it's a little bit tighter. But again, you put it over your watch, and it'll take the accidental bump. Again, you don't want it, you want it a little more protective, you double it up. I mean, everybody's got old socks around somewhere. It doesn't have to be a sports watch. And you're good to go. Sorry for all the stuff, I just cut it. So you can protect your sport watch just like that. Now some of the commercial options, if you want to do it, it's a sweat wristband. Um, this one I found is a little small. So it's thick, it's thicker than a sock in one layer. But it, it, it doesn't cover a lot of area. It'll work, and if you happen to have one around the house, go for it. Next up, this is a little bit longer wristband. You know, it keeps the sweat off your hands and stuff. Now this is pretty tight. So, but I've used this. I was crawling underneath the house the other day in my Tyvek suit, and I put this on to make sure it didn't inadvertently hit something. And it works real well. You don't have to get the, I don't even remember, Armor something logo. You can get plain ones. But that provides a lot of protection. Now the last thing I have here is a little bit unusual. I had some new boots a while back, and this is an ankle protector. All right, you can find them, used for sports and it's got a gel inside so it's got a completely different padding and if i'm not mistaken it's somewhat waterproof 
and it's really tight and that gel is going to add some extra protection. Now, granted, it's a little harder to get on, okay? So you just wrap it around, put it on, and even though it was designed for an ankle, it will work on your wrist. Again, another option for protecting your watch. Well, that's what I do. If I'm really in a dirty environment, I use a sports watch, I mean a sports sock, just doubled up. And that works pretty good. If I'm wrenching, I have a tendency to use this because it's longer and it's really heavily padded. So the choice is yours. These are my thoughts. This is what I did. You don't have to.